Good morning again. We are coming toward the end of the book of Leviticus, uh, chapter 26, deals with the consequences that will come to Israel. On the one hand, for obedience, what will be the blessings that would come from actually obeying God's law? But on the other hand, what would be the grave troubles that would come upon the land and upon God's people should they disobey his commandments? So let's take a look at that. So First, there's a reiteration of one of the commandments. You shall not make idols for yourselves. I am the Lord your God. So we have a real God. Don't make fake gods. Then another commandment. You shall keep my Sabbaths. So really rest in the Lord. And reverence my sanctuary. The place where you would gather with the Lord and his people. I am the Lord. So first, then, if you walk in my statutes and observe my commandments, what will that mean? Well, it will mean rain on the land and fruitful harvests from the fields. And uh, the fruit will be there for you. And you'll dwell securely in the land. So you have safety, you have peace. And none shall make you afraid. So inner peace as well. God will remove harmful beasts. And the sword of your enemies will be kept at bay. Now what about your families? I'm going to make you fruitful and multiply you. How about your relationship with me? I'm going to confirm my covenant with you I will dwell among you and my soul shall not abhor you shall not hate you but I'll walk with you I'll be your God you shall be my people All right. these would be the blessings that would come from obedience what about disobedience if you will not listen to me well are you gonna have panic wasting disease fever enemies you're going to be afraid of your enemies if you continue to walk contrary to me it's going to get worse if you will not listen then i'll be contrary to you the lord says i'm going to bring a sword against the land pestilence but if you still don't listen to me then what well, then I'll continue to walk contrary to you, but now in fury. So it's a increase of the Lord's discipline against his people. Horrifying things will take place if you're under siege and you're so hungry. What would you do? It's listed there. And I'll destroy your high places. I'll lay your cities waste. And I'll scatter you among the nations. And that's the ultimate discipline for them. They'll be scattered among the nations in exile. But if you confess your iniquities, if you come back to me, if you remember me, then I will remember my covenant with Jacob. Think of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and the promises that they had from the Lord and I'll remember my covenant with your forefathers. So uh, that is an encouragement that comes. He says, I am the Lord. So what do we take from it? Well, as we've seen throughout the book of Leviticus, God is holy. He expects us to be dedicated to holiness. 
when we don't take that seriously, we unleash upon the land grave difficulties. But there's hope when we turn back to the Lord. So in the midst of trying times, it's important for us as his people that we commit ourselves to holiness. Let's pray. Father, we turn to you from whom men have deeply revolted. We hate our sin. We love the obedience of Jesus. We love the promises that you've granted to us of life through his perfections. We rest upon you today again. In Jesus' name, amen. Keep resting upon the Lord. Trust in him.